फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व वन ट्रेग्नोमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम इफ कॉसेक थीटा प्लस कॉट थीटा इज इक्वल टू 5 देन इवैल्यूएट सेक थीटा फ्रेंड्स डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल बिकॉज हियर वी आर ट्राइंग टू कवर ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम क्लास 1 टू क्लास 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Now see, the given equation is cosec theta plus cot theta is equal to 5. And we have to find sec theta. We know sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. That means if we know cos theta, we can find sec theta. So first, we have to change the given trigonometric functions in our equation cosec theta and cot theta in their simple form of sin and cos. So, we get cosec theta that is 1 upon sin theta plus cot theta that is cos theta upon sin theta is equal to 5. Multiplying both the sides by sin theta, we get 1 plus cos theta is equal to 5 sin theta. Squaring both the sides, we get 1 plus cos theta whole square is equal to 5 sin theta whole square. Now, we have to solve this square. We have to solve the bracket. So, we get, after expansion of first bracket in the left hand side, we get 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta. Like our identity, A plus B whole square is equal to, in the right hand side, 5 square, that is 25 sin square theta. Since we have to find sec theta, that means cos theta, we have to convert this equation in terms of cos theta only. So, in the right hand side, we have to change sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. So, we get 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 25 into in bracket 1 minus cos square theta. Now, solving this bracket, we get left hand side as it is 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to in the right hand side solving the bracket we get 25 ones are 25 minus 25 cos square theta. Now collecting the similar terms together and rearranging these terms we get 26 cos square theta is plus 2 cos theta minus 24 is equal to 0. Now see, this is clear quadratic equation with variable cos theta. So we have to factorize it. We have to split. But before to factorize it, see in this equation, there is a common term, common factor 2. So dividing each term of this equation on both the sides by 2, we get 13 cos square theta plus cos theta minus 12 is equal to 0. Now it is comparatively more simple. Now we have to split the middle term in two parts so that their sum is equal to coefficient of middle term 1 and their product is equal to product of coefficients of first and last term 13 and 12. So we get 13 cos square theta plus now middle term we have to split in two parts 13 cos theta minus 12 cos theta minus last term 12 is equal to 0. Now see our two middle terms their subtraction 13 minus 12 is 1 cos theta according to our previous middle term and their product is equal to product of coefficient of first and last 13 into minus 12. Now we have to take common from first two terms as well as second two terms, uh, last two terms. So we get from first two terms there is a common factor 13 cos theta. So by taking 13 cos theta we get in bracket remaining term cos theta from first term plus 1 from second term. So, in bracket cos theta plus 1. Similarly, from last two terms, minus 12 is common. So, minus 12 into in bracket cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, in our left hand side, we have two terms having common bracket, common factor cos theta plus 1. So, by taking this bracket common cos theta plus 1, we get in other bracket remaining term 13 cos theta from first part first term minus 12 from second term is equal to in the right hand side 0. That means either cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0 
और 13 cos theta minus 12 is equal to 0. That means either cos theta is equal to minus 1 or cos theta is equal to 12 upon 13. Now we have values of cos theta. We have two values. One is minus 1 and other is 12 upon 13. Both the values are permissible because we can take value of cos theta as either minus 1 or plus 1 or between them. And here first value is minus 1, second is 12 upon 13 means less than 1. Now by taking reciprocals we get sec theta. Reciprocal of cos theta is sec theta is equal to reciprocal of minus 1 is minus 1. This is the first value from first option. And from second option, sec theta is equal to 13 upon 12. So friends, here we got two values of sec theta. Solve this problem again in your notebook for your better understanding. And give us one like. Thank you.